Hello everyone. Well, finally got a clear night. And in door number one, I'm gonna be imaging with my main scope and I'm gonna go after, finish up actually, NGC 4274, it's a group of galaxies. And I started a couple weeks ago, but weather and whatnot, so unable to finish. So hopefully the next couple nights supposed to be clear, get that done. But what I'm really excited about is I've got this thing out again. I've made some upgrades on my scope buggy, but I've got the Orion Atlas Pro out and I've got my old ED80 on there, but I'm not gonna be imaging with this. What I'm really gonna be imaging with, I'm, I've got a piggyback on here. I've got my old uh, EOS T3i modified. It's a 600D for those of you that are Europe. And I've got a 200 millimeter lens on here. And I'm actually going to be just focusing on the Polaris region. There's some gas and dust out there. I'll see if I can pick some of that up. But uh, I'm, I, actually, this is just a test. I've got a new EQ mod wire for this scope. I'd like to get another Pegasus Pocket power box eventually. And I'd also like to get another Astro camera, maybe something smaller that uh, like a ASI 178 or something like that, that I can do some imaging with. But uh, that'll be later. I really am just really happy I got this thing working and all everything's uh, back together again. So I've got two functional mounts. Also, I don't, I'm not gonna be doing any auto guiding with this. Although, I still have my old auto guider and I've got my old auto guiding telescope. So I actually got a full functional system over here. But uh, as I said, I, this was just a, this is just a test for this evening. I don't know when you're gonna see this video, hopefully, in a couple days if everything all goes well. My name's Kurt Zepatello and you're watching AstroQuest One. Well everyone, it's about a week, week and a half later and I failed. <laughs> Well, I think I know why it failed. So let me uh, digress first. I actually tried this a couple months ago in J February with this thing. And I, when I did it, when I tried to get the uh, Polaris region, it sort of drifted a little bit. I had a polar line pretty well, but it still drifted. So okay, well, let's take a look at that drift here. This is with my SkyGuider Pro when it was taken on February 23rd. So I'll go through it. Here's Polaris right here. You can see how it's drifting as we go all along. It's, the Polaris is moving right out of the field of view. And let's take a look in more detail how the stars look. And you can see they're not quite rounded. They're sort of, if you really look closer, uh, quite oblong. So that could have been because I wasn't I didn't have good guiding with that Sky Guider Pro. Maybe it wasn't polar aligned perfectly. Maybe the wind was out. So anyways, that was that was the first time I tried it. So that's when I went with this system that you saw. Although I changed it a little bit. And I'll get into that in a couple of minutes. And I did it again, as we described a week ago. And I still had the drift. And I couldn't figure out why. And I, and I mounted and, and I did the polar alignment with this thing. And this tracks really well. So let's take a look at this data from May 20th. Here's Polaris again. And watch how it behaves. Like it, you can already see the stars. They look, certainly look streaky. And Polaris is just going straight down. So let's take a look at the first frame here, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Over here, the stars don't look eh, so bad, but as you can see, as you go along with it, they really get bad. Now they went bad, really bad here. I think it's because my adapter uh, was came loose. I had one of those Teleview adapters that looks like this, so this this came loose somehow, but even if that didn't come loose, you can still see right at the beginning it was it was still moving down. So I, I I don't think that was the only problem. I think somehow it's still even if that didn't come loose, it still would have been uh, moving. And I even went ahead 
and removed the scope and mounted the camera directly to the mount and tried it again a third night and I still had that drift. So the reason is apparently right around the Polaris region you really should be auto guiding and that's because any minor change magnifies around the Polaris region. So, so here we are again on the third night, May 21st. And this time I just mounted the camera directly onto the mount. So there'd be no way that it, anything wasn't tight. And let's see what this data looks like. Now you can already see in this first exposure how it's sort of streaking farther away from Polaris and Polaris. So watch what happens. There's one little blip on what happened there, but the rest of it circles around. Now this could have been because it wasn't polar aligned really well. And I may have jerked it when I was changing the camera bulb, the, the camera battery. So I may have done it myself, but still, any one of these problems could have been rectified with guiding. So long and short of it, I, I should have been I should be guiding and I'll be back to this this site again. Now I have used this lens this lens, this 200 millimeter lens successfully before on other regions of the sky using this the Sky Guider Pro. So I have used it successfully. It's just right around the Polaris region is where you really need to be auto guiding. I'm going to get this uh, sooner or later, but it's going to be for another month or so. The moon's starting to come up now, and, and this, this is a really dark area, so you got to have dark skies. But I did get a new ring to hold my telescope. I never, to hold my lens. I never liked what, the way this was mounted because for some reason, this 200 millimeter Canon lens doesn't come, never came with a ring adapter it's sort of a mid-range in heaviness scale anything bigger would have a, a support ring that comes with it anything smaller you don't need it but this was sort of right in the cusp why so I, I went ahead and found a um, an aftermarket ring that fits it perfectly but i'm going to do some more modifications that you'll see at a later date i just wanted to sh uh, show you what happened i did get the my other image which was in the which I which I was taking with my main scope so uh, that that was a success I just didn't get this uh, this thing for now okay we'll see you later